I summarized the development of China's GDP since 1978 to 2010, when China actually surpassed Japan's GDP, becoming the second largest uh, economy in the world. And I summarized the reasons behind this rapid uh, economic development. I also point out the potential challenges faced by the Chinese government. And in the next 40 plus years, if we try to develop China's GDP this way, is this actually sustainable? The professor has done a really great job at summarizing um, what those major differences are and sort of what, and, and, and laying ground for what the future can be um, for China and what sort of financial reforms are going to be needed in this market. That's great if you want to operate in this market or if you want to just operate in, the, in a world where China is a huge part of, of the GDP. It's been very important for me to know about uh, the potential reform, economic reform in China uh, compared to the United States. Knowing more about the financing issues for the companies was so important, you know. Internet finance is crucial for the development of China's uh, economies. So in the second lecture, I talked about internet finance. First, I summarized the US experience with internet finance. Of course, I also mentioned P2P, peer-to-peer -peer lending, the lending cloud. And I summarized the reasons why internet banks and internet insurance companies in the US are not doing as well as we expected. Internet is changing the whole economic model of China. So it's very interesting to see what is the change in China uh, with an emerging middle class that is taking charge of, of the growth. So with the technology creativity that now the Chinese are doing, it, they're changing the whole model. Thank you.